welcome back to my channel okay today you're asked to solve without using mathematical tables that means you're not supposed to use your calculator or anything you're asked to calculate square root of p over q where our p is 3.6 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 and q is equal to 2.25 times 10 raised to the power of 6 okay come closer let's do this together all right when you're given something like this the first thing you should do is to do what to ensure that you remove these decimal points it's only when you remove these decimal points that you can easily find their square roots so that brings me to how do we now change this decimal point to normal number okay to ordinary number so let's go ahead and do that so we are told that we are asked to find square roots of our p is what 3.6 3.6 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 all over our q is 2.25 times 10 raised to the power of 6. Now, first of all, let me put you through on how you can change a number from decimal to ordinary number, okay? For you to do that, this 3.6, I want it to become 36, right? But you know that 3.6 is not equal to 36. So what should I write here to make it to be equal to this 3.6? Remember that for me to get this 36, it means that I shifted this decimal point from this place forward once, right it was 3.6 i shifted it like this before i got 36 right you know that 36 is 10 to 36.0 that means our decimal point is here hope you know so how do i now write this it means that this is equal to times 10 raised to the power of minus one why am i using negative because i shifted this decimal point to the right and how many times did i shift it to the right once that's why i wrote minus one okay so this is equal to don't worry if you do not get this i'm going to do this again and by the time i do this you are going to understand it okay so this is equal to square root of 3.6 okay sorry it's now 36 times 10 raised to the power of minus 1 so i'm going to use 36 times 10 raised to the power of minus 1 to replace 3.6 now okay times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 this 10 raised to the power of minus 3 all over then this 2.25 now just pay close attention in case if you did not understand what i do what i did in the first one so this 2.25 now is same thing as 225 okay times 10 raised to the power of minus 2 how you know that this is 225 for me to a uh, 2.25 sorry for me to get 225 i need to shift this decimal point one two into two places to the right so that's why i have negative two i shifted it into two places that is why we have two to the right that is why we have negative as we shifted it backwards okay we are going to have positive now you are getting it abby so it means that this is equal to two two five times 10 raised to the power of minus two this one has replaced this 2.25 then times 10 raised to the power of six okay let us continue what do we do next i want us to remember this law of indices this law of indices that states that x raised to the power of a times x raised to the power of b is equal to x raised to the power of a plus b okay let me bring it home this means that as we we have the same number here for example as we have 2 raised to the power of 2 times 2 raised to the power of 3 okay that it is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 3 that is you take one of these bases which is 2 and you add their powers 2 plus 3 just take one of them 2 then you add their power that means this will give us 2 raised to the power of 5 okay now i want us to relate this to what we have here if you look closely you are going to see that we have 10 raised to the power of minus 1 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 that means they have 10 10 that and they are multiplying so all we need to do is to pick one ten, and we are going to add the powers okay so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that so we are going to have square root of 3 6 36 times 10 i'll not pick one ten out of this raised to the power of minus one plus minus three okay minus one plus minus three okay all over we have two two five times ten the same thing will happen here 
times 10 raised to the power of minus 2 plus 6. Okay? Now, what do we have? This is equal to square root of what? 36 times 10 raised to the power of minus 1 plus minus 3. It's same thing as minus 1 minus 3. See what we have? Minus 1 plus minus 3. Whenever minus and plus comes together, plus times minus will always be minus. So minus will always dominate. So we can rewrite this as minus 1 minus 3. And what is minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. So what we are going to have here is 10 raised to the power of minus 4. Okay? All over. This will be 2, 2, 5 times 10 raised to the power of minus 2 plus 6. It's setting as 6 minus 2. You know that plus 6 is equal to 6. Once you don't have negative, it's 6. So when we say minus 2 plus 6, when we say minus 2 plus 6, okay, it's setting as if we write this 6 first, 6, then we bring our minus 2 to the front. It becomes what? 4, right? So 6 minus 2 is 4. So this becomes... 225 times 10 raised to the power of 4. Alright, it's getting more interesting. Getting more interesting. Okay, so what do we do now? We can now take our square root. Now, what is square root of 36? It's 6. So we write 6 times. What is square root of 10 raised to the power of minus 4? That is where the twist is, if you don't know. The square root means, when you're asked to take square root of something, it means that it raised to the power of half. For example, if they say square root of 8, it's sentence as 8 raised to the power of half. Okay? So, if we should use that same ideology, we can say that square root of 10 raised to the power of minus 4, is sentence as 10 raised to the power of minus 4, raised to the power of half. Right? So these two, we cancel this to give you 1. Cancel this to give you minus 2. Okay? So it means that this is 6 times 10 raised to the power of minus 2. That is for square root of 10 raised to the power of minus 4 is equal to 10 raised to the power of minus 2. Okay? So similarly, over square root of 2, 2, 5 is what? 5 times square root of 10 raised to the power of 4 will give us 10 raised to the power of 2. Just using the same way, 10 raised to the power of 4 times half. This will give you what? 10 raised to the power of 2. So this is 10 raised to the power of 2. Okay, you can see that our result is finally coming out. But if you followed me to this stage, it really means that you are enjoying what I'm doing. So I think it's time you click on that subscription button if you have not subscribed to this channel. And click on your notification bell so that you'll be notified any time that I upload a new video. Okay? Alright, I'm waiting for you to do that. Okay, thank you very much. Alright, see what we have here. It's now very easy for us to solve, right? So, we are going to have... Oh, sorry. Square root of 225 is 15. Ah, uh -uh. that is my mind. <laughs> square root of 225 is 15, please. So, how do we now solve this? 3 divide 6, you are going to have 2. If 3 should divide 15, you are going to have 5. So, we have 2 over 5 times 10 raised to the power of minus 2 over 10 raised to the power of 2. Now, we are going to use another law of indices. This law states that if you have x raised to the power of a over x raised to the power of b, this time around, we are having the same base. Okay, let me bring it home for easier understanding. If you have 2 raised to the power of 3 over 2 raised to the power of 4, you notice that they have the same base, right? That all you need to do is 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 4. Remember that when we did this one, it was multiplication, so we added so if it is division, you subtract, okay? So we are going to do that to this now because this is 10 raised to the power of minus 2. This is 10 raised to the power of 2. So we are now going to take one ten and we are going to subtract their power. So it's going to be minus 2 minus 2, okay? All right. Now, this is what we have. 2 over 5. If you divide this, if you uh, use your calculator to press this, you are going to have 0 0.4. Okay, times 10 raised to the power of minus 4. Now, this is right. It is correct. But as a mathematician, you are not supposed to leave this. This is not in standard form. It's not in standard form. Now, for you to put this in standard form, it's going to be 4 
times you know this 0 0.4 is sent in as four times 10 raised to the power of minus one remember the way we converted these ones okay the way we converted this one that is exactly the same thing i did because this 0 0.4 is sent in as four times i'll shift this decimal point to the right once that means 10 raised to the power of minus one so that's how i got four times 10 raised to the power of minus one okay times another 10 raised to the power of minus 4. Now, this is equal to 4 times 10 raised to the power of... Note, this and this, they are in the same base. So, what do we do? We pick one of them and we add their powers because it's multiplication. So, it's going to be minus 4 plus minus 4. Remember what I told you that when plus and minus are together, minus will always charge, okay? So, it's going to be, sorry, minus 1 minus 4 because if you say minus 1 plus minus 4 it's something as minus 1 minus 4 now what is your final answer going to look like our final answer now is going to be 4 times 10 raised to the power of minus 1 minus 4 is what minus 5 and that is your answer do have a lovely day and bye